This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Besiktas facing Galatasaray. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. And now the Champions League final commences. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Gazal. A very timely interception. Well, if we're talking about potential match winners, we have to mention Dries Mertens. Stuart, what kind of display do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 oh, against... Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity! Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Using his strength to shield the ball. Abubakar. And the ball with Jetson for Nansch. They've given it away. Kerem Aktur Kolu. Moving it forward. Martins. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. And able to get a body in the way. Short corner. Cross blocked. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Alexandru Maxim. Torreira and on the ball Sergio Oliveira Zaniolo passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead can they forge ahead oh there's the goal there's the opener how about that oh, 
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So underway again here, one nil the score. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Nelson. Lucas Torreira now. A move of promise on the flank. Mauro Icardi here. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Icardi Zaniolo Onto Torreira Mertens Superb defensive judgment to end the attack Gezal It's a Bubakar now Amir Haji Ahmetovic Masuaku, chance to do damage. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's have another look. It's a wonderful bit of interplay to start the move off. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. So half an hour remaining. Sergio Oliveira, really well played pass. Zaniolo, a poor cross all things considered. Torreira. Here's Icardi. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Valentin Rosier. Gezal. Abubakar. And they need to get tighter. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Just 15 minutes remaining. Icardi. The cross is on. High quality defending. Mauro Icardi here. Now Mertens. And a very good challenge. Doing well to keep possession. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And they're making a change. A 
and stuffing out the danger. Valentin Rosier. Now here's Gazal. And the Haji Ahmetovic. Can they grab the lead late on? Redmond. Very quick thinking there. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. No, high quality defending. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Dubois. On to Torreira. Tremendous block. Could play it in. And running it back. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Gomez. Played into the box. Will it be? And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. Well, attacking possibilities but quick thinking defensively. Leo Dubois. It's Rashica on the ball. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Favouring the short one. And a struggle to get it away properly. Sergio Oliveira. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Gezal. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there it is! Full time! They are the Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night.
for these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it?